Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and Country Cook. Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running the camera back there. She'll be here in a minute, but first I want to tell you a little story. Years ago, I was born up in Iowa, and we lived all over Iowa because my dad got transferred a lot. He didn't have no seniority on his job. And then we finally moved to southern Minnesota, and you hear me talk about northern Minnesota. But back when we was in Iowa, I really remember when I was a little kid, we lived in Spencer, Iowa. And I'll never forget, my dad used to make chocolate malts for me and my, my brother Larry. And what, what he'd do is we never had a, a mixer, a blender. He had a bowl with a hand mixer, and he would put in ice cream and pour in some milk, and then he would put in malt powder. And that's what I forgot in the kitchen, Sheila, is malt powder. And the reason I wanted her to go get that is because that's a special brand of malt powder that I ordered online. Now, you can buy some regular malt powder at Kroger's, and that works just as good at your store. But that's the difference between a shake and a malt. And believe it or not, as I was growing up as a kid, I didn't know the difference. I just knew when I went in the store, it said chocolate shakes and chocolate malt. And I'd say, okay, give me a chocolate shake. And it wouldn't taste like what my dad made. And then I said, well, give me a chocolate malt. And it tasted just like what he made. And thank you, Sheila. Let me show you what I ordered here. I ordered some of this soda fountain malted milk powder online. You can get it on eBay. And... Uh, I don't know what it was, about 10 bucks or something, or 8 bucks, I can't remember. But you, without malt powder, you can't have a chocolate malt. And that's the only difference between a shake and a malt, is malt powder. So if you have a vanilla malt or a vanilla shake, or a chocolate malt or a chocolate shake, the only difference is malt powder. Let's get a close-up and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So we're going to make a chocolate malt, but we're actually going to make a chocolate shake first because we don't put the malt powder in until the last. So I'm going to start out with some... Uh, haagen Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. And this is, let me see here, this is 14 fluid ounces, it says on this little container. And what I did is I ran this under hot water in the kitchen on the outside of this for just a minute, so it should just about plunk right out of there. Come on, come on. There we go, get in there. All right, awesome. Let me get the rest out. So I got a 14 ounce container of chocolate or of vanilla ice cream and you can use any kind of vanilla. It doesn't have to be vanilla bean. I just happen to use that. And I have one and a half cups of milk. Now you can use two percent whole milk. Just kind of stay away from skim milk and one percent. You might as well have something delicious but I'm gonna pour almost all of it in there. Save about a oh, quarter to a half a cup. Then I'm gonna pulse this for a second. See, and it's kind of thickening up. And at this point, you have a vanilla shake. Now, if you want to turn this into a chocolate shake, you can either use Hershey's chocolate, and I'm not even going to open this, because it's not only, it's great, it's delicious stuff, but my dad used to use Nestle's Quick to make our chocolate malts. And I'm only going to put in about a heaping tablespoon, then I'm going to blend it just a little bit. And if you're like me, I love them when they're not overly chocolatey, if that makes any sense. About another half a tablespoon. Beautiful. Now we have a beautiful chocolate shake. But, I'm going to put in, and I didn't even need that extra milk, so maybe about a one and a quarter cup. So you could even get by with one if you want it super thick. One big heaping tablespoon of malt powder. Then another half a tablespoon of malt powder. That's what gives it that taste that I used to have in Spencer, Iowa when I was a little kid. You put the lid on this so it don't fly around. And it's just that easy to turn it from a shake to a malt. Now I just need some glasses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera, get a wide shot, and then I'm going to ask Sheila to bring me some glasses. See you in just a second. I know some of the recipes I come up with are just really easy peasy, but 
You know, if you're like me, uh, maybe I'm just a dummy, but for years I didn't know the difference between a shake and a malt. When you go over here to, to Sonic, I love their malts because their malt powder is really a good quality malt powder. I used in this recipe soda fountain malted milk powder, all natural. And I used a cup to a cup and a quarter. You could probably get by with even a cup if you want it real super thick. And I used Nestle's Quick to make it chocolate shake and then I add the malt powder and it becomes a chocolate malt and of course I could have used Hershey they got a great product we do some shows up at Hershey Park from time to time we want to say hi to those folks and then of course I used a 14 ounce let me double check that 14 fluid ounce of haagen which I smashed in there and now all I need is a couple of glasses and a pretty lady to deliver them to me so you all know this young lady right here. What is with the blue and pink straws? So you'll know which one to get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see how I'm going to share this. This is my blue one. Yes, your blue one. And now here's something else too. This is just a tip. If you like them real thick, buy yourself one of these great big fat straws because then you won't suck and suck and suck and get a headache. They make big round heavy duty straws. They're not heavy duty as much as they have a big diameter. Makes it easy. All right. You sit yours there too, Sheila. And I'll... Oh, ladies first, hold on. Yes. Oh man, look at the ice cream in there. Now this makes one great big, nice big tall malt or two littler ones, because we're only going to go with a half a glass a piece. Is that fair? That's fair. That's pretty good? All right. I uh, donate this toast, or I dedicate this toast to all of our folks out there that hit the subscribe button because it's right up here in the corner. I see it right up there pointing at Sheila. It's right up there. And we're going to give this a taste and tell you if it tastes like it did in Spencer, Iowa. Toast first. All right. Ready? Mm hmm. I love malt powder. Oh. Really good. Isn't that really outstanding? It's delicious. And again, it kind of got thin because I didn't take it right out of the freezer and put it right in the blender. I took it out and I warmed the outside. Then we kind of set up the lighting and we turned the camera on and we just did a thing downtown and, and so we had to get all our equipment back up. So it kind of sat here and got a little soft. But if you use, it, use good frozen ice cream, dig it out of the container and use one cup to start with and save a half a cup to thin it out to, to your perfection, you'll end up with chocolate shakes like they made in Spencer, Iowa. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. Huh? Oh, and is this the best chocolate malt that I almost forgot to say that was ever made by anybody? If it ain't, it, it ought to be. be. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.